darkness rises and light to meet it. The sacred Jedi texts! From the dawn of the Jedi Order, Jedi scripture has been contained within eight bound books, a format that was rarely used in the galaxy alongside the electronic information systems. The words of wisdom contained within these texts describe tenets, history, and guidance in the ways of the Jedi. The masters of old intended for these tomes to evolve as the millennia passed. They did not want a single snapshot of history. Instead, they encouraged future students to amend and add to the books as the Jedi Order changed and developed. Luke Skywalker was the last Jedi to collect the volumes in his travels across the galaxy, and now they are in the care of Ray Palpatine. After the Starkiller incident, Luke Skywalker in his self-imposed exile on Octu believed the text should be destroyed and set out to burn them where they were hidden in an ancient tree. He had somehow become convinced that the Jedi Order was locked in a ruinous cycle and needed to once again be purged from the galaxy. But through some miracle of the Force, Rey was able to steal the books without the Grand Master's knowledge and stash them on the Millennium Falcon. So when Master Yoda uses Force Lightning to set the tree ablaze, the texts were safely away on Han Solo's ship. It is said that Rey was instantly fascinated by the teachings on esoteric Force techniques and meditative practices. While on the Rain Force planet, Ajin class, Rey stored the books in her workshop inside of an active dehumicoil field to prevent the elements from destroying the ancient pages. Much of the Jedi scripture is illegible and must be translated from the original archaic languages into modern basic. Rey was able to accomplish this using simple translation programs available on most data pads, but she had to take more of an intimate approach with respect to translating more of the metaphysical concepts. She was forced to trust her feelings because simply reading the words loses some of the nuance. C-3PO and Beaumont Kin, a resistance historian and linguist, often offered their expertise on the more obscure and technical text. It was said that Ray Palpatine was fascinated by the arcane healing technique found in the Chronicles of Bruce Boo. In fact, she applied these teachings to heal the broken kyber crystal in Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. The Ramagan is the more prominent scripture. The cover is made from reddish clay found in the unknown regions. Its spine and pages are bound together and made from Unedi wood, which comes from Force-sensitive Unedi trees. This connection to the Force is the reason for their preservation and why these scriptures have survived over a thousand generations. The Ramagan was thought to have been destroyed more than 5,000 years ago, but Master Luke Skywalker uncovered the text while exploring the subterranean ruins on Osis. Scribed within are four origin stories for the cosmos and the Force. Though varied and somewhat conflicting, these stories are thought to tell the tale of how it all began. But separating myth from history is difficult when dealing with the ancient language of a Jedi scripture. They speak in metaphorical terms and analogies. For instance, in one text, the Force is described as a twisted ribbon lining the perimeter of all reality. Transit to any point across the cosmos is made possible by traversing this path through the netherworld of unbeing. The earliest accounts of exploration and codifications of the Force were collected by historian and Jedi Master Ri Li Hao. He created the Aeonomica and filled the pages with two volumes worth of codex, correspondence, and logs. To ensure its safekeeping, much of the contents were later stored in holocrons. Unfortunately, those holocrons have since been lost, but the physical books have entries written by the original sages, and Howell has carefully preserved those entries.